guys. It's Saturday morning. Uh, uh, heading up to the shop here, pulling out of my driveway, trying not to get run over. Yeah, it's Saturday morning. We're running up to the shop. Uh, we got a little bit of snow coming in today and tomorrow. Nothing major. Three, nothing more than three or four inches. Um, I got somebody called me. I take care of their driveway at their house, but I think one of their family members, they have a place up the road from them in Montville, and I gotta go clean the driveway. I guess it hasn't been plowed all year, so they gotta get in there and get some stuff. So I gotta go get my plow truck, I'm gonna go clean that out, and then I gotta run to Belfast, get some parts. I wanna spray down on my plow truck because I didn't get a chance to do that after the last storm. Go to the car wash, spray that down, and then we'll go back to the shop and we'll, uh, we'll do some work to that truck. Might do some work to this truck I'm driving right now. I got some pulleys and some belt and stuff I want to throw on it. Yeah, we don't have we have a little snow coming tonight. It's Saturday, so no one's none of my businesses besides the co-op and Brooks. They might be open tomorrow, but it's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday. We This is a Deco drive belt kit. Um, it has a couple of tensioners and then the belt in there. And then the idler pulleys. That goes on the O3, so we'll be putting that on later if we have time. So yeah, we're gonna hop in the Duramax here in a minute after we, I'll show you that, the flap on this V-plow that's hanging down right now, but we're gonna hop in this and go up and clean that driveway. That'll be just a one-time shovel. Lady's gotta get in there to, do some stuff, I guess, this weekend. So. Ah, 
right here where these come together, obviously there's a gap unless you have you know, these back to mark the flat. So this one, as you can see, coming off. I'm going to take this side off. It's going to bang. Then we're going to come back later. And I have another one of these flats to try to rig something back up. Because that paint is not having that there. It leaves a strip in the middle when you're plowing. Paint in the day. I'm going to take that off. So now, well, uh, the diesel's warming up, we're going to do a little sweep in, keep the shop nice and clean. That's what we do. shop all cleaned up. I think what I'm going to do now is I got some uh, buckets of sand from the last storm we loaded up. I'm going to unload them into the shed, about half of them or three quarters of them. We'll go plow that driveway up the road in Montville that I got to do. And then we'll, uh, when we go to Belfast, I'll stop at Hammond Lumber, grab a few more buckets. And then on our way back to, we'll go to Brooks and we'll grab some more sand because like I was saying in the last video, I got to I gotta load up the shed with some more sand because Brooks is like 15, 10, 15 minutes at least away. A little bit more in a snowstorm, so I want to have some sand over here in Freedom. I got 20, 25 driveways over here in Freedom. I gotta, you know, have sand over here for. So that's the plan. Well, let's get it.
so it's about 10:46. I'm just uh, looking back. The lady sent me the address to the place she wanted me to clean up this morning. So got the address. We're gonna lock it in. So I found it. It's about uh, nine miles away, 13 minutes. So we're gonna go get that done and then go to Belfast. up here in Montville at that driveway only took about 10 11 minutes not too bad now we're gonna head to Belfast get some parts get some sand buckets we'll fill up those buckets and head back to the shop let's do it so I had a gentleman call me uh, I believe it was yesterday I've been talking to him we talked to me a couple weeks ago he has a couple of apartment buildings in Belfast and one right on the other side of Belfast and Cedars Port plows them and shovels them, but he's going to not be able to take care of them. He wants the rest of the winter, but at least from now until whenever. So I'm going to give him a call. He called me yesterday. He wanted me to call him back yesterday, but I have a lot going on. So I'm going to give him a call. Hello? Hello? yesterday about the snow plowing for your uh, apartment buildings. Okay, yeah, I had a lot going on yesterday. We were working on the plow trucks all yesterday, so. Yeah, no problem. Okay, yeah, Joe, just give me a call. Uh, things come up. I usually, you know, if like something like that happens again, try to give me a couple of days in advance. But I have about 60 or 70 accounts, so it's. Oh yeah, it's been going around with me too. It's been a been a rough year to start out. So. Okay, Joe. No problem. Safe travels. Yep. Yep.
just made a pit stop at the store. I'm gonna head over to the car wash now and spray down the truck. Do it after the last storms. I try to do it after every storm. Salt, that stuff is a killer on your vehicles. Gonna head over to a wicked clean car wash and spray down this weapon. Quarters. Spray this weapon down. Truck all cleaned up. I'm getting ready to run into VIP real quick to get some parts. Alrighty guys, we got the Wix fuel filters for the Duramax. We're gonna go pick up the payment, go to Hammond, and go to Brooks. Let's do it. We got the buckets. Uh, there's a couple other things while I was in there. I remembered I had to get, um, I have a toolbox on this truck and it locks on the sides. I just wanted to pick up a spare key for that. And then also I got some bolts for that flap that we got to fix when we get back to the shop. So. Alrighty, let's venture to Brooks and load up some sand.
We're here at the sand stockpile. Sand and salt. We're gonna load up the buckets we just got at hand in. And we'll probably just leave them right in this truck for uh, so we got some snow and rain coming in tonight, so we might have to clean up tomorrow. So we'll probably just leave the buckets we load up in this truck. And that way, you know, the buckets we put in the shed will be there for when we need them. My other, the sand truck, is also full right now. We just filled up those buckets uh, the other day. So we got 20 or so buckets in there. I'd say 20 or 30 in the shed, and then we'll have another 20 or so in there. A decent amount of sand for what we're sanding this year. on a Saturday in Maine. What are you guys up to? Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe there at the bottom. Appreciate you guys for watching. While the sand is loaded, we will now commute back over to the shop where we will do some small repairs to our main plow truck, including repair the center flap on the V plow, changing the fuel filters on the truck, and also we have a surprise ride along with us in our next video, so stay tuned. The next video will include that center flap repair on the Fisher V plow we have been talking about, so make sure to keep an eye out for that uh, for our next video upload. I see a lot of those uh, Minute Mount 2 plows when I'm driving around without anything stopping the snow from escaping through the center of it. So this repair I think will help a lot of people out, anybody in the area or around that has those Minute Mount 2 plows. So keep an eye out for that video upload. I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, there's much, much more to come here. Please comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, soar high beauties. We'll see you next time.